it's Lent. And there's a red Tesla in orbit. It's on its way to Mars eventually. Do you think, can I hitch a ride to heaven? Maybe that's far out. But that core power in the booster rockets that sent the car aloft, capable of reaching Mars, was visible. It shook the cape. It quaked. And they cheered. They celebrated our destiny among the stars. 2,000 years ago, St. Paul wrote this Brothers and sisters, if God is for us, who can be against us? He who allowed the Christ to be incarnate among us in the person of Jesus was handed over to us and humankind slaughtered him. Christ Jesus it is who died, or rather was raised, who is at the right hand of God who indeed intercedes for us. This beloved son in the Gospel of Mark converses with Moses and Elijah and the ancient prophets of God want to show God's presence in the chosen people that they be attentive to the transfigured Jesus as prophet, infused, sealed as the second person of the Blessed Trinity. The Christ incarnate, teaching us by his life, passion, and resurrection, the way to eternity beyond infinity. In Christ's resurrection, the earth quaked, the sun eclipsed, the guards were blinded. The core power of the Creator rolled back the stone. The one who lay dead on the slab was raised by the power of the Holy Spirit. So that our last barrier to life forever was exploded and destroyed. O oh, death, where is your sting? A Tesla in the heavens the Son of God interceding for us. Forty days of rigorous prayer, fasting and almsgiving to pilgrim toward the lift off into divine presence. O oh God, dwell with us.